or no law. And Massachusetts! Holy cow! Now, Judge, what we're gonna do here is you're gonna read the laws. It's Doobie! Oh my god, he's got glaucoma. That's why he's allowed to have that medical marijuana. He flies into walls. Can't help it. Barney Frank said he's gonna get that, that bill passed, but it's still not happening. No medicinal marijuana. It, it says, is. here come the judge! Thank ha! you. Ha! How? And we want to introduce the judge. Who's, Who's the, the judge? judge? Who's the judge? That's the judge right there. That's the judge? Judge. Hello. 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 We're so glad to have you, judge. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Very it's so good. nice to be had. <laughs> I'll have you. Okay. Now, judge, what we're going to do here is you're going to read the laws. You got that? I we're got it. started with the first one, and then we're going to debate whether it's a law or no law. You know, you don't get to be a judge by being a dummy. <laughs> yes, you do, in your case. Oh, yeah. Okay, now read one. Law one. At a wake, you can eat no more than four sandwiches. I don't know, Leroy. What do you think? I think I could eat six sandwiches to sleep, so I could probably eat four awake. Nope, you're only allowed three. Three. three sandwiches. That's the law. And it's still on the books. So don't eat like a pig oh. at the way. Three sandwiches, that's the limit. What do you say, Judge? Is that a law or no law? Who's that's, right? That's the law. Good. <laughs> got it. I got you, Leroy. That's one for me and you get nothing. Okay, what's next? Number two. Snoring is against the law if your bedroom is unlocked. What do you think? That's false because I done some whoring <laughs> and the door wasn't locked. It was locked and there was it was all right. So you can do some whoring as long as the door is locked. Not whoring, snoring. Oh, oh, never mind. <sighs> well, what's the law? The law is you can't snore in your bedroom unless the door <laughs> and the windows are locked. Isn't that right, Judge? You are correct. Good, that's two for me and none for you, Leroy. Okay, go on. Law number three. Taxi drivers may not make love in the front seat on their shift. Oh, what about off their shift? <laughs> so that only concerns women taxi drivers, I guess. Yes. No, no, don't do that, Leroy. No. Well, he said on the shift. But yeah, he can do it, but... <laughs> Quiet! I think they're allowed to make love in the back seat and not the front. That's my guess. Do you put a condom on the shift or you just go for it? Go for it. The you law says the laws. true, but it uh, says nothing about the back seat or off-duty. Oh, well, I think he's going to be on duty if I'm there. Okay, I think I win again and you lose again. Okay, what's the next one? Law number four. Gorillas are allowed in the front seat of a car. What do you think, Leroy? That's false, because last time I picked one up at the bar, <laughs> I made her sit in the back. Did you get back there with her? Uh, I won't admit to that. Okay, well, I think that's they're allowed in the back seat, but not the front. That's my guess. What do you think? What do I think? Yeah. I'm not paid to think. I know. <laughs> what do you know? The law is they are allowed in the front seat, but they are not allowed in the back. So next time you pick up a gorilla lever, you make sure you put her in the back seat. I know that now. Okay, don't forget it. Next one. Please. Law five. Bullets may not be used as currency. Gosh, got me. What do you think, Leroy? That's false. You can use bullets for currency. How do you do that? Well, you go in a store, you say, I'll give you two in a hat, unless you give me everything in the store. And then your bullets become currency. That's right, see? That's good, Leroy. Let's teach everybody how to do that. Okay. I don't know, Judge. What's up? Well, it's possible, but it's not legal. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's the next one? Number six. It is legal to play the fiddle. I don't know. I think it should be legal. They're doing it with Plymouth Plantation. What do you think, Leroy? Well, I know I got arrested for it once. <laughs> there was a minor involved. 
Oh my God, so you're always fooling around. Was I was told I could never me? fiddle with the minor, so <laughs> I got in trouble. So I guess it's not legal to fiddle oh, with the minor. With the minor, but with, with the major, you could do it. Maybe, I wouldn't fiddle with the major though. I wouldn't either. But what's the truth? The truth is, it's not legal to play the fiddle. Oh God, they're breaking the law again from his plantation. Okay, we'll let him get away with it this time, but we're gonna report him the next. Okay, what's up? Number seven, you may not use tomatoes in clam chowder, New York. <laughs> I don't know, can you? Is it legal? I think it's legal. I don't know. Who are they I, to I, tell you you can't have a tomato? Um, I remember I put my chowder on the maid's ma toes and I got in trouble, so I don't think you can put your chowder on the maid's toes. Nope. The law says you cannot use tomatoes in clam chowder. That's only in Massachusetts, though, because in New York we make it with tomatoes all the time. There are a bunch of scoff laws up there anyway. That's Damn true. Damn Yankees. Okay, what's up? Number eight, a woman may be on top in sexual act. Activities. Well, I would hope so, otherwise oh, we're going to be in deep trouble, Leroy. I Is don't want to touch that one. You don't? You have, and you did. Is uh -oh. it legal or uh -oh. illegal for it a woman? It is illegal oh my God, Leroy. for a woman to be on top. I've got to go down to the police station. You're going to have to bail me out, Leroy. Well, I think if you go down at the police station, then everything will be all right. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. <laughs> They'd like that. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm very good. Okay, what's next? Number nine. As long as the governor is present, you may have a duel to the death on the commons. I don't know. What about on the uncommons? Then mm. they could do it right. And if you can have a duel, can you have a trio? As long as the governor's involved? <laughs> well, he'd have to be involved to have a trio, because it takes two people to have a duel. There we go. So I think a trio, the governor's involved, is not uncommon. Okay, but what do you say, Judge? What's the real deal? It's true. As long as the governor is there, you may have a duel to the death. Ooh, law or no law. <laughs>